Hello friends, this is Kid Howard. Thanks for tuning in on a Monday evening. Today we're going to talk about how to hook up a power subwoofer to your vintage receiver. Now, this is going to just be a normal hookup on the back of the receiver like you normally would do with just the speakers only. But the subwoofer you're going to need is going to have to be a power subwoofer with high level output and high level input. This is what you're going to need here. Now, the receiver, we're going to go ahead and hook into that. We're just going to hook this up like we normally would, your left and right, negative and positive. So I'm going to do this right now. We're going to use the A side, do the positive side first. Now the negative side. Now we're going to do the right side the same way. Like I said, this is just a normal hookup, like normal. Okay, we got the right and left side hooked up to the A side. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to switch over to this power subwoofer. Now, on that, we are going to hook into the high level input. As you, as you can see, you got a left and right just like you do on the receiver. So we're going to the high level input. We're going to hook up the negative side first, um, the positive side first. Now the negative side. And I'm going to repeat the same process. Hope everybody can see this. Trying to keep my hands out of the way here. Okay. Now we got that done. Now, for your speakers, if you want to run another set of speakers, this is where the high level output comes in at, right here. You don't have to if you don't want to run another set of speakers off of this, but you can if you like. Now, on some receivers, you can um, have an A and B and a C speaker selector. On the, on the back of mine, right here, there's an A and B selector. Now, you can just run this just like it is along with another set of speakers on A or B, whichever way you got it hooked up, or you can run them both. Now, there may be a time that you may not want to have too much bass, too much low end, so you can just run, run, run the B side without the subwoofer running. If you want more bass, turn the selector switch to A and B, and that kicks on the power subwoofer. There are, there are other ways to hook this up. You can also hook it up just like normal. You do it with your normal speakers, and you can run a jumper, right to the subwoofer if you want to hook it up that way but if you do it that way your subwoofer is going to always be on you can't control it to turn it off or on if you hook it up like this where you have your speaker selector you should be able to you should be able to control it that way it's a very easy hookup it's nice to have it this way if you want more bottom, you know, more low end, 
Like I said, I have mine set up this way on the B side. And if I want, you know, to use, have more bass, I turn on the A and B together. If it's too bassy, too much bass, I want to have a low volume and don't want a lot of bass, I'll just turn on the A. Very simple hookup. This is one way you can hook up a power subwoofer to your vintage receiver. Alrighty, I'm Kid Howard, and this is a little short video, and we are out of here.